everybody, it's Patty, and thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for coming back, and if you're new, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Uh, as you know, those of you who watch, I've been in Florida. Uh, I was there for a week, and then we uh, came home, and my husband's son and his family came up for a visit over Memorial Day weekend, and so I had a whole week of good sun in Florida, and then we were out on the lake all day. Sunday. So I'm very happy to say that I have no sunburn. Uh, I have some great color on my arms and all over my body except for my face. My face looks like a sheet, a white sheet. So hallelujah for Bare Minerals Faux Tan because I had to have something to even my uh, face out to make it match my body. So um we just used sunscreen constantly the whole time we were down there, and even Sunday. Ooh, hair's coming down. Um, you know, the temperature was about 85 degrees all week, maybe a little bit hotter, not much, and the water was as pretty as it's ever been in Florida that I've seen. It was crystal clear. There were days when there were no waves at all. It was The ocean was like glass, so it was absolutely beautiful. We had a ball. So, uh, I have some purchases I wanted to show you, some goodies, and a couple of things I bought before uh, well, all of it I bought before Florida, but first of all, let me show you and tell you that I, without a doubt, I know that I am the very last person on YouTube to have the Naked 2 palette. I finally broke down and got it. I'm not going to show it to you because I know you've seen it, but I really do love the colors. Wore it a lot in Florida when we went out. Uh, also, Tammy and Judy had both talked about the new Vinique nail polish and how wonderful it is, the technology being different. It's made with silk fibers and it's supposed to stay on and not chip and crack. And so I went on their website and ordered a couple of colors and uh, they were here when I got back. So let me show you what they are. The first one, uh, and I'm going to have to put my glasses on here if I can find them. The first one is called Point to Ballet. Oops, sorry. And this is a really pretty shell pink. The other one that I ordered is Hot Pink Jellies. And this is what I have on. And my nails really are in bad shape. Um, you know, we were in the sand on the beach and then in the lake all on and off all day Sunday. And so I only polished my nails with this yesterday. I will tell you that when I first put it on, I loved it. Uh, it, it it's thin, but it went on. Oh, it, it was just great the way it applied. Uh, this is two coats. I need a third coat. Uh, I thought two coats would be enough, but I am going to need three coats, at least with this color. Uh, I thought I had ordered the base coat and the top coat to go with it, and when the package came, uh, it I only had the top coat, so I did use the top coat as a base coat also on this. I'm going to go back and order, uh, I think, a couple of more colors and get that base coat. I, I really do like the polish. I, I, of course, it remains to be seen uh, how it's going to stay on and if it's going to actually chip, so I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, we came, we went through Memphis going to Florida to pick up our the couple who uh, went with us, and my friend and I ran over to Sephora, one of the Sephoras in Memphis, uh, to pick up a couple of things uh, for her, actually, and I wound up buying some stuff. I uh, wanted to show you what I got. The first thing I got was... Um, a YSL lipstick, and I know many of you have tried these. The color that I got is Rouge Volupte Pearl, and I am quite sure that I murdered that. But this is a just a gorgeous color. And I'll put a little on my hand so that you can see it. I have it on today with a little bit darker uh, lip liner. Uh, it's not quite the color I wanted, and of course I didn't realize it until I got to Florida and started using it, but 
I, I, can, I love the way it feels on my lips. Uh, I can make it work color-wise with a lip pencil, so I really do like that. Also, while we were in um, Sephora, I, I have a birthday coming up toward the end of July, and I asked the girl if there was any way I could go ahead and get my birthday gift since I don't live close to a Sephora. And she said yes, and so I know those of you who shop at Sephora know about uh, the birthday gift this year. It's by Fresh, the Sugar Kisses Mini Lip Duo. So I'm anxious to try that. Now, okay, the really exciting thing that I purchased at Sephora, and uh, when we were leaving, the girl, the sales clerk said, wait a minute, wait, uh, I have something I need to show you. I heard you and your friend talk about you're on your way to Florida, so uh, there's something you might like. And she took me to this kit, and it's called a Sun Safety Kit. It's a Lucite case, and the case had this color all of cardboard all around the inside, and the, all of the trial sizes and samples were affixed to the outside of that cardboard inside the, the Lucite. So I had to remove that part of it to get to the product, and I'll remove this too. But when you see everything that I you get in this, and it was only $30 for everything, it's $193 value. And I, I'm just amazed at everything that's in here. Uh, so let me, again, put my glasses on. I tell you what, I'm going to come right back and do this. Okay, needed to take a quick little break. Here we go. Um, the first item is the St. Tropez uh, Gradual Tan Everyday Body Moisturizer in Medium Dark 2.5 Fluid Ounces. I mean, is that not a generous trial size? The next thing, and by the way, all these products are sunscreens, basically. Uh, or sun related. This is Boja Oil Free Daily Hydration SPF 15. And most of these others are 0.5 fluid ounces, if I don't say that. Uh, Origins Vitazing SPF 15 Energy Boosting Moisturizer with Mangosteen. There's a Sephora Age Defy Moisture Cream, SPF 15. There is Ula Enriksen Protect the Truth, SPF 50. There's a Peter Thomas Roth Max Shear All Day Moisture Defense Lotion, All Free, SPF 30. There is Hope All Free SPF 30 Daily All Free Moisturizer for Normal to Oily Skin by Philosophy. There is the Super Goop um, Very Water Resistant SPF 30 Everyday Face and Body Lotion. There's a Murad Oil Control Mattifier with an SPF 15. Smashbox Photo Finish UVA UV, UVB SPF 15. Uh, Shiseido uh, Sun Protection Lotion with an SPF 60. Another Shiseido uh, SPF 42. The, another reason I went into that Sephora was I wanted to try some of the BB creams, and I did get some, some samples of different ones, and I'll do that later after I've tried them. But this is Dr. Jart Plus Premium BB Beauty Balm, SPF 45. Just happened to be in there. Uh, Kate Somerville uh, 360 Face Self Tanning Pad. And a tan towel, and I have used these before. I like them. And since I'm a Bare Minerals girl, I was happy to see this in here. A mineral veil with an SPF 25 and a little brush. Oh, and uh, a fresh sugar lip balm.
So, all of that was in this box, and it was $30. $193.16 value. $30. I mean, I'm just amazed. I probably would have paid $30 for this little Lucite box. I, I really do like it. Uh, okay. One other, a couple of other, oh, wait, here, right here, I brought these out so that I could show you, too. Bought these at Sally's about three or four weeks ago and just hadn't had a chance to show them to you yet. Aren't these fun? Hair clips to hold your hair back. They were two on a card and, I don't know, maybe three or four dollars. Not very much. The, I got a card of these and a card of these, and I would have had more, but these were the only two styles they had, but... I'll look for more of these. I have good thick hair and these hold my hair. And speaking of hair, I have on a Tony Bratton ponytail today. It's different from the one I showed you the other day. This one, you know, my hair is, since I've had it cut, is my ponytail is about that long. So this has these clips. And all you do, and by the way, you can turn this one upside down and it gives you more hair, but you just clip it in. So I put this on this morning and went out into the living room where my husband was and he looked at me and he said, love your hair. I don't think he had ever seen me wear one of these ponytails before. So, uh, you know, I got a good thumbs up from him or yeah, from him. Uh, I, you know, I think that's pretty much it. Just one other thing I wanted to say, you know, I came back from vacation and uh, because we did not have internet service where we were, it was, I only had my iPhone. It was, it was really hard to uh, watch any uh, videos. So I came home knowing that I was going to spend a lot of time catching up on videos that those of you who post videos post. And I realized pretty soon uh, when I started watching this morning, last night and this morning, that a couple of girls, uh, that I just love to watch, um, have closed their YouTube accounts, and it really made me sad. Um, they had both sort of mentioned uh, about the haters, and and gosh, you know, if you if either of you or both of you are watching this video, I hope you'll reconsider and come back. You know, people who are haters, they're just they're just have bad lives, I guess. They're just sad people themselves, and, you know, I think they get their greatest uh, kicks out of trying to make uh, other people feel bad. So, you know, there's just a few of those people out there doing that, but, you know, I think about the ocean, the, uh, the beach where we were, the ocean. Uh, they're just a drop in the ocean compared to uh, all of the good people who are making videos and uh, who watch the videos. I mean, my goodness, those of you who don't make videos and you just love to watch us, we we love you and we thank you for it. I know I speak for myself. I, I pro I'm sure I speak for every single person making a, a YouTube video out there. There's so many more um, of the good people than bad people. You know, we just have to let those bad people go by the wayside. Don't, if we can keep from paying too much attention to them, maybe, maybe in a perfect world they would go away. It's not a perfect world. We just have to learn how to deal with them. Uh, there may be a day when I choose to close my account, but it won't be because of the haters. Uh, it may be for other reasons, but certainly not for that. So, you know, just if you're watching, come back, try again. I'll watch, and I know many others will too. I know your subscribers are missing you already. Uh, okay, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I sure hope you will. Last week, I didn't get to answer any of your comments. Uh, so uh, I always try to answer all comments. I know that occasionally I let a, a one or two or maybe a few get by me, but uh, I still do not have that large of a subscriber base that I can't get back to all of you. So uh, I will try to reply to your comments if you comment. I love reading your comments. Uh, if you really like me, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. 
and I think that's it until next time. I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can within the next week or so. We're going to be leaving again in two weeks, so we'll be gone for two weeks. Then we'll be home for two weeks, and then we're going out of the country for about three weeks, and then we'll be home for the rest of the summer into the fall. So uh, I will get as many done ahead of time as possible and get those released out to you so that I'm, you're not just bombarded with them all at once. But I do have some ideas on some things I want to do. One thing I need to do uh, is do a review on the youth code. Remember, those of you who have been watching me all along, I was testing this, and I'm testing it only on this side of my face. And I told you I would be faithful with it until it was gone, and it's gone, and I've only used it on this side of my face. So I'll be doing a review on that here pretty soon. That'll be one of these videos. I hope it's a wonderful day where you are. I hope it's a fun day where you are. I'll see you later. Bye.